Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Thank you for joining me again today and for always coming back to this channel. I appreciate your presence here. Thank you for your prayers and your continued support. Thank you for your words of encouragement as well. Thank you. God bless you for your faithfulness and seeking God and staying connected to his word. This is truly inspiring and it is always a joy to walk this journey with you. Praise God. If this is your first time here, welcome to our community. Welcome to the family of God. You've come to a community that is all about pursuing and waiting on God, hearing his voice and applying his word to our everyday life. We focus on building and maintaining a personal relationship with God. We grow in our faith and we encourage one another through every season of life. If this sounds like a family and community you would like to be a part of, consider joining us by subscribing to this channel and becoming part of this wonderful family. I believe that God has something special in store for you as you connect with us. Let us say a quick prayer before we get into to this world. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We've come before you today with our heart full of gratitude, full of thanksgiving for whom you are to us. You are our Father. And Lord, we say thank you for your faithfulness, for your provision, for your ever-present help in our lives. We bless your name because you are our source. You are our sustainer. And we just say thank you for everything you've done for us, for what you're doing for us right now, and in our midst and what you will still do. Receive all thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, we come today, Lord, we ask for forgiveness for any sins we've committed, knowingly or unknowingly. Father, cleanse us, Lord. Purify our hearts and prepare us to receive the word you have for us today. We surrender this moment to you, Lord, and ask that you use me as your vessel. Speak through me, Holy Spirit. And let your word comfort with clarity. Let it comfort with power. May your people be edified and transformed by what you have to say to us today. And let all the glory be yours alone. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. As I saw the Lord today, I heard him say to someone, This is a time to store up extras and not use all. For some things are about to come to a screeching halt. The phrase screeching halt stood out strongly to me. It stood out strongly in my spirit. It signifies something coming to an abrupt stop. A sudden unexpected pause that catches you off guard if you are unprepared. Isaiah 42 and I say, see. The former things have taken place, and new things I decree. Before they spring into being, I announce them to you. For someone listening right now, God is announcing to you what is coming. He's letting you in on what is about to happen. There are shifts and changes coming that will seem to bring things to a sudden stop. Whether it's in finances, whether it's in your plans, or even certain routines you've grown comfortable in. God is not saying this to cause fear, as I know that this might cause fear. The Lord is not saying this to cause fear, but to prepare you. He's saying that now is the time to be wise and store up. Don't spend or use all you have. Be it your resources, your energy, or even your time. Be strategic. Because what you save now will sustain you through this upcoming season. The Lord says the screeching heart is not a sign of the end, but rather a period of adjustment. The Lord says it is a period of necessary adjustment. And during the time, you will need something to fall back on. And what you store up now will be essential, says the Lord. Just as Joseph stored up grains 
during the years of plenty to prepare for the years of famine in Genesis chapter 41. So you must be diligent and discerning in this season. The Bible tells us that Joseph's preparation didn't just sustain him. It sustained an entire nation. Similarly, what you save now could be what will sustain you and even others when things shift. God is giving you a window of opportunity to position yourself wisely. Be attentive to his leading and avoid the temptation to be reckless or indulgent in this season. The Lord is saying, resist the urge to think that this is business as usual. Resist the urge to think that this is business as usual. You know, there is wisdom in knowing when to conserve and when to release. By following God's guidance, you'll be ahead of what is coming and won't be caught off guard. This is not a message to make you hold things in fear, but to act in faith, trusting that God's provision will be more than enough. For some, it might be in your finances. It might involve financial savings. But for others, it could be about storing up spiritually. Yes, we can store up spiritually as well. We can store up by building up your faith, strengthening your prayer life, and deepening your connection with God. The extras he's speaking about could be wisdom. It could be insight and even strategies that could be critical when things suddenly shift. God is positioning you. Not just to survive, but to thrive, even in unexpected circumstances. Just as Joseph's wisdom led to abundance in a time of scarcity, so too will your preparation lead to breakthrough when others might be struggling. Praise God. I received some scriptures for this word. I'm going to read them quickly. And I encourage you to take time to read them, study them, and meditate on them. And also pray with them as the Lord leads you. Genesis 41 from verse 47 to 49. You know, the Bible tells us that Joseph stored up grain during the years of plenty in preparation for the years of famine. Luke 15, 13 through 14, it says, Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant land, and there squandered his wealth in wild living. After he has spent everything, the Bible tells us that there was a severe famine in that whole country and he began to be in need. Proverbs 21, 20 says, the wise store up choice food and olive oil, but fools gulp their down. Matthew 25, 1 to 10 tells us about the parable of the wise and foolish virgins, where those who were prepared had oil in their lamps when the bridegroom arrived, while the others missed out because they weren't ready. I encourage you to take the scriptures to the Lord in prayer and ask him how they apply to your current situation. Let the Holy Spirit reveal to you what steps you need to take as you prepare for this next season. Praise God. This is the word of the Lord for you. Again, I repeat, this is not to bring fear and this is not to make you hurt things. But the Lord wants you to act in faith and prepare. Praise God. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you for the wisdom you've given us to learn how to prepare for letting us in into what is coming. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, I pray that you give each person listening to me right now the discernment and wisdom to navigate this season. Help us to store up what we need to store up and not be wasteful with the resources you've placed in our hands. I declare that as we walk in obedience, we will not be caught off guard by the shifts that is coming. Instead, we will be positioned to stand firm and experience your provision in greater measure. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will use us to be, even be blessings to other peoples around us. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. 
I come against every spirit of fear that I want to dwell on this word, to, 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 to bring fear into the hearts of your people. I bind every spirit of fear right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will give your people the understanding they need to understand this word and how you want them to prepare in this season. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.